What's up, guys? It's me, Jelly Knees. And the potions, I, I have thoughts. I have some thoughts and theories about what the potions might do. Of course, big surprise. The Tinfoil Titan has theories, I know. But I want to talk with, them, with you guys about them, and then I want to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments below or in Discord or wherever you want to send me your thoughts. I'd be happy to listen. But first off, we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers before the end of June. So if you could share this video with your friends, get their thoughts on the potions, share every share it with people you know, get everyone hyped about Ethereal, post it in Discords, the whole nine yards. We're trying to hit 1,000. We're at 784 right now. So if we can hit this 1,000 mark by the end of June, I will be forever grateful. And I have some ideas about things we might do. So let's get into the potions. What I want to do is kind of recap how you're going to access these potions real quick for you. So if you guys remember, there is a loadout system in Ethereal. The loadout system consists of four combat tactics, and you will choose a primary tactic, and you can kind of pick points from that tactic going into the game to benefit your myth from the start. So the four combat tactics are Assault, Protect, Reinforcement, and Demolition. Now, the one that they showed us and the one that's on screen is the Assault class, we're pretty sure. So, because it's got Penetration, Attack Speed, and Life Steal, I don't see that belonging to any of the other three classes, the other three loadout tactics, other than Assault. But, so that, those are the stats for Assault. But each of those tactics has a corresponding potion in the shop. When they release the item system uh, with the website update, there are four potions, one for each tactic, in the shop, but they don't give us any tellings as to what they do or anything like that. So that's what we're here to explore today. Let's start with the Assault Potion. So the Assault Potion, all or rather all the potions, just have the same generic tag in the, in the Ethereal website. It says this item can only be purchased while using the corresponding familiar. So that, and that would require using the corresponding tactic as well. So for the Assault Potion, Really, I kind of tried to find two options for each of these potions and what they could do and leave some room for you guys to find things and give me some ideas because I would love, love to hear your guys' thoughts. For the Assault Potion, though, based on the stats that it's giving, my, my real two guesses are you're going to see some kind of flat damage boost that they're just going to give you physical damage for a certain amount of time, or we're going to see a flat attack speed boost Either way, uh, I really don't see it being outside of those two options, but maybe there's something else. I mean, there is penetration and lifesteal here, so potentially it could be one of those options as well that we get increased penetration for 30 seconds, or lifesteal is improved by 50% for 10 seconds, or something along those lines. But we also don't know how many times per game you can purchase the tactic potions or the familiar potions. So... Uh, yeah, I really don't know how this is going to come into working, but those are my two main theories for the Assault Potion. For the Protect Potion, I uh, really don't think we're going to see anything crazy out of this one. Um, there was a part of me that thought maybe we were going to like buff allies at the same time, but I feel like that's just broken, and you'll see a lot of people running Protect Potion if you can just all pop it at once and you buff your allies with armor and magic resist or something. That just makes it really really strong really really fast or you'd have to put some huge downsides for or diminishing returns for multiple people using it at the same time so protect i have two thoughts you're either going to get a flat resistance boost so just you're going to be able to say like okay i take i'm not as cc'd for as long while this is active and then make it active for two and a half minutes like we see the buffs are all active for two and a half minutes or the other option would be to increase your armor and magic resist by a percentage, maybe, in that you're going to see when you use the potion, you get 10% armor and magic resist increase, which I could definitely see being a valuable option. I just don't know for sure how that's going to work. But that's my thoughts for the protect potion. Now, the one I'm probably most excited for is the demolition potion. So the demolition potion... The demolition tactic as a whole makes me think that there's going to be some kind of damage to structures or damage to objectives increase for that tactic or that that class or potion or whatever it is. 
So my guess for the demolition potion is that you're going to see an increased damage to towers. Um, something like you're going to see demolish in League of Legends as a rune. You might see that as an active effect on this demolition potion, and it, but to a lesser degree. And once every 10 seconds, you can do an extra 3% damage to towers or whatever it might be. The other option is that it increases your new, your damage to the neutral objectives. So knowing how important the wyverns and wyverns are going to be in ethereal and atropos for that matter, I could definitely see you using this potion and then needing to or needing to use this potion while you're fighting those objectives to help your team secure that objective faster or and more efficiently. The last potion, which I'm really mixed on, is the reinforcement potion. And this one, I truly have very few ideas as to what it could be. Reinforcement makes me think this could also be buffing allies or buffing your minions or something along those lines. But without diminishing returns, this could be very, very, very strong. Um, so my kind of two thoughts for it, for just guessing what the stats would be in that tactic as well, is we're going to see a reinforcement potion reinforce yourself in that it'll give you a CDR uh, increase. So it'll give you 10% cooldown reduction for two minutes or whatever it's going to be. Or we're going to see that it increases both of your regens for a period of time. So you're going to have your health and mana regen doubled for the next minute or whatever it might be. That way your sustain in lane is a little bit more. And this would give reinforcement some some validation in like an archmage mid lane type situation for those characters to take the reinforcement tactic over assault or demolition it could make it useful for them as well overall i'm really curious to hear your guys' thoughts about all of these potions and i do want to let you guys know that tonight at 6 p.m pacific time we're doing marvelous monday here on my channel so make sure you're subscribed come join us for marbles we stream for about an hour to two hours Go ahead and play some marbles on stream. And whoever wins the final race of the night is actually going to be able to pick a game for me to play on stream. So make sure to come join us on that. You guys should be able to see the live stream already. So go set the reminder for you to come join us on that. 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. Pacific time is when we'll do that. So make sure you're subscribed. But if you want to see more ethereal content, click right over here for that. If you want to see a video made just for you by YouTube, selected by YouTube on the other side, and then click the icon above my head, get subscribed as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one.